welcome back to Dig It Detecting, everybody. Welcome also to the backyard. And uh, something a little bit different today. A welcome also to half a day detecting. Uh, we're doing the video a little bit backwards today. And we're going to show uh, some of our finds that we've had there this morning, hunting at an old school site. And uh, we just stopped quickly for a coffee. We are going to get back into it very shortly, as soon as we've finished our coffees. Uh, but look, we've got some coins there coming out. This is Luke's pile that you're looking at right now. And Luke has had some great finds there this morning, including the silver ring. Uh, the little military Australian military forces button, uh, the big old hide and decal, uh, grocers, wine, a merchant's token, and also the 1956 Florin. Uh, look out, Luke is on a killer of a run. And as I said, this has just been from this morning's effort hunting at an old school site. Uh, so we'll just take you over here quickly and just give you a look at what I've done. Uh, we have not uh, not hit on all the old stuff like Luke has, uh, instead hitting on more of the modern coins. Uh, we've got a belt buckle, a little dog tag, uh, and our best find, as you can see, is the old coronation pendant. And this shape, uh, this heart design, or um, a spade-like type design, I have never ever found one like this. Uh, so you can just imagine my excitement this morning uh, when it popped out. So King Edward and Alexandra, uh, coronation, uh, 26th of June, 1902. And uh, what makes this one even specialer, uh, it is represented to the town of Geelong. Uh, so very, very cool, very special. So, and a bit of rubbish, as you can see, off to the side there. Uh, but look, there is more of that to come. So anyway, let's now finish our coffees. As I said, we're halfway through the day, what you have not seen, uh, but we are getting to another old school site this afternoon. And we're gonna dig out uh, some more and show you guys a look. So here we are, guys, school site number two for the afternoon. And uh, this is also a school, a school site that we've hunted a lot in the past. Uh, we have got two ovals here too, uh, one off to the right hand side and one off to the left hand side. And the one off to the left seems to produce the most coins. Where are you going Luke? You're like, you look like you're walking left buddy. Heading straight left. Straight left. I might do the same and uh, we might attack uh, the area on the right hand side a little bit later. And let's face it, that is the side that we've done the most. So we're probably best uh, to go to the left here and have the best success for the afternoon. Right, so Luke just said uh, the challenge is a first one to find a silver coin. And uh, I think he's going to go over to the silver hotspot to do that. However, we have found our first target here. And I'm not convinced it's a silver at all. Uh, it has not got the right numbers. It's only got two bars of depth. I could be wrong. Oh, where is he? Giving me funny signals. Right there. So look, I think it might, uh, might be a bottle top or even a one or a two dollar coin, which we've dug quite a few of those today, as you've seen out on that back veranda there before. So a bit of a gander. Hopefully it's a florin. I'd like to catch up to Luke, uh, even though I am still taking the lead, uh, technically. I'm on 11. Uh, let me just turn that back off. Turn it back on again. I'm on 11 florins. Luke is now on nine, I think he is. I think he said he was eight this morning. So there he goes, first find, and we've got uh, the head of an old shaver, which is actually pretty damn cool. And not a coin, uh, but an old relic, part of the old shaver head. So awesome, into the bag, moving on to the next. Well, a few bits of rubbish on, and uh, it has brought us to our next target. As you can see, uh, we're smack bang, right in between the, uh, the points goalpost. So we're kicking a point. Hopefully we're kicking a goal on this next target though, which is quite a nice number, as you can see. Jumping around a little bit, nice tone I should say. But look at the depth, three and four bars of depth. So a nice deep target. And that's what I love looking for, looking for the deep targets. I went out looking for the old coins, because uh, let's face it, in most situations, uh, you know, the older the coin sits there, uh, the longer chance it's got to get buried deeper. Whereas fresh drops, you know, you, you, you're detecting along and you see the, uh, the targets with one, two bars of depth. Uh, and generally, uh, they can be fresh drop items, modern coins, rings, uh, and bottle tops rubbish. So, deeper the target, more chances of it being something cool, something old, something not a coin. <laughs> uh, that's alright. It's all part and parcel, isn't it? And uh, look, some of these objects... Uh, they're very, very interesting to try and identify. Like this guy. I'm not certain what he is, but he's got some really cool edging around there. 
nothing on the back. I wonder if he's got thread on the inside. We're not going to know until we clean that dirt out. It's okay. It's, uh, it's not our silver coin. We do have a two cent coin. However, no old pennies and no modern coins and no old silvers. And look at Luke. Uh, he's going, oh, well, there he is. I was pointing over there. Uh, Luke is going over to the hot spot, which some will remember on this oval uh, was about that run of grass there, that strip of grass uh, where we found all the, uh, the sixpences, strippences, all the silvers in the past. Uh, so I have a sneaking suspicion that's where he's headed. So a little bit of a funny story, all day I have not been able to stop talking to people that I've seen. Uh, so basically hunting away at a few public sites there this morning, uh, I have spent about probably uh, a good half of my day, instead of detecting, just talking. Uh, but that's okay because it is leading me on to a few permissions. Are you standing up or am I sitting down? <laughs> uh, so look, what you did not just see there is for the last probably half an hour, uh, we just met and talked to another new guy and uh, got another two potential new permissions for future. And as I said, that is sort of what's happened all morning. Uh, so look, not too much time on the detector uh, for me, uh, but Luke has been smashing me and uh, he's found something else. So what do we see on the back step there this morning, bud? We saw a florin. We saw a florin? <laughs> Did you bring that florin with you? It seems like every time I meet up with you, florin starts coming out of the sky. <laughs> well, bones. Remember that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How weird. We're walking down the driveway there before uh, coffee's in hand. Oh, actually, we'll just stand there talking. Uh, and all of a sudden, a bone fell off the house roof. A dog bone. How random. So someone, I think someone launched it from about th yeah, three houses over. Anyway, we're not talking about dog bones. We're talking about coins. And there he is, a 1947. Another bloody florin for Luke. Well, maybe, maybe me. And that happened while I was standing. <laughs> is that 10, is it? Ah, yep. oh, so I'm number 11, you're 10. You need one more and you're even Stephen. Unreal. And that happened, I will just say, while I was talking to Alan there, the bloke that just walked over. <laughs> Uh, it all happened while I was talking to Alan, so I missed out on that guy, uh, but we did score another couple of permissions to check out in future. So, in fact, uh, one old house site Alan was just speaking about uh, is actually going to be developed uh, with a new house uh, this week, about to start getting built on. Uh, so, as he said, mate, get around there quick as you can. The daughter owns the block. Uh, with her partner and um, you're most welcome uh, if anybody says anything just drop her name and uh, let them know that i sent you so you stay away from those florins buddy luke's on number 10 uh, we're on number 11 uh, let's see if we can snag another one yes but talking leads to permissions luke found a brick well we've got a nice target here 72 76 80 something what do you got, Penny? Oh, just a penny. We haven't even found one. Been too busy talking. Funnily enough, too, I think we're about to get chopped by the lawnmower. She's coming this way. She looks serious, too. It doesn't look, doesn't look like she's going to stop. She's going to run us straight over. There she goes. I'll keep Luke in the lead so he gets run over first. Coin, coin, good coin. Florin, number 12. Here we go. Don't look. Stop looking, Luke. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's the wee little baby silver. <laughs> uh, it doesn't match up to what you got. Ah, uh, that's only a little thrippence, but that is our first pre-decimal coin uh, for this site. And not only that, it's a silver, baby, 1942, a little wheat thrippence. That is just awesome. I probably shouldn't have rubbed him so hard against me jeans, too. I may have scratched a patina. That's all right. We'll just carefully put him in the pouch. 1942, our first little silver coin. How good is that? First pre-decimal, too. Let's fill this hole in. Uh, let's see if we can turn him into something bigger. There is our next target. He's not too far away from where we got that little thrippence too. Uh, what a little awesome guy. So let's go after this one. And not only that, one more target here, which could be another little thrippence. Where did we get that other one? Over there. There he is. 
So maybe two more silver coins here. Let's go after them. Luke, don't come over and steal my second target, mate. We need to dig out the first. Oh, look at that ground. Sixpence, unreal. This is a silver hotspot. Luke just said then, he's like, mate, how much silver coins, yeah, how many silver coins uh, have come out from this one area? And it literally is a sort of from my hand uh, to the bit of the culvert gutter ditch there. It's all just this one area. And if I spin you around, it sort of makes sense because if you've got the oval here, whoa, a little bit wobbly, uh, it sort of makes sense if you've got the oval there and the two goal posts either end, where do you think the crowd would have been standing? Right here. So it sort of does make sense in that account uh, where all the uh, coins are coming from or where they have come from being lost in this one spot. Uh, but it does not account for the fact that majority of them are silver which is phenomenal, strange, but awesome. Is this gonna be another one? Oh, no, I ate my own words then, didn't I? Two cent coin. So I just said majority are silver, but there we go. We have got a little copper, copper coin. Geez, it'll be handy to have some uh, headphones right about now with all this noise going on. <laughs> Never mind. So target number two, here we go. Right next to the little two cent coin. I'm not too far away. Let's dig him out before we get chopped with that lawnmower. I said that lady's on a mission. She wants to get home and cook tea for the kids. She's not gonna stop that lawnmower for nothing. And not even two detectorists out on the field. <laughs> She's gonna run straight over us. Run over Luke first. Let's have a look. Silver, silver, silver. Before she gets us. Oh, nice depth. I like this guy. I'm hopeful. It's not gonna be something big though, because it just wasn't ringing up loud enough. Hey, what, huh? I can't hear a thing. Oh, that thing is so loud. It's like a tractor. All right, we got him out. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh man, oh man. Love the excitement of this day. How's about that one? Swap your florin. Very nice. We've got a Gothic 1946 Ram Head Gothic shilling. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, how cracker is that? 1946, beautiful Australian Ram Head shilling. It's not the early coat of arms design. However, I think that is a great design nonetheless. And the old ram head staring back at you. And nothing better than when you find these guys out in the sheep paddock too. Surrounded by sheep and finding sheep, rams. So, awesome, awesome. As I said, what a hot spot. Silver City. So right here, right here is just gold. Ah, oh, awesome. Let's fill this one in. Let's see if we can't turn that shilling into a florin. Check that one out. No, Luke, you're interfering with my signal. Penny or a florin. That's a florin, mate. <laughs> Listen to it. Yeah. Oh, that is crisp and clear. Even feels good. I live for these signals. I really do. I wake up in the morning every day and I go out hunting and I'm like listening for those high tones. Get away! Oh. <laughs> I don't know what happened then, but Luke seemed to like that. Oh, listen to that. That's got to be a florin. So nice. You're going to hang around for the reveal? The reveal of the biggest silver yet. Well, for me anyway. Luke's got two already. I hit something then. Hopefully it was a rock. If not, I hit it another two times. Let's have a look. Florin, Florin, Florin. Oh, it's big. It's bigger than the average coin. It's bigger than the average guy. I'm excited, as you can tell. I love getting pennies. <laughs> That's not a damn florin. Ah. Oh, well, how is it missed? That sounded so good. But how is it that I always get jib with the coins that aren't florins? Every time you seem to come down this way, you get a florin. Florin. You seem to always get a shilling. Well, I do, yeah. 
Luke's the floor and magnet this year. 1952 Rupenny, full guy. That's why he's ringing up um, a quite loud. Uh, as, uh, as I um, stuck the pinpoint in there too, I could tell uh, just with the surface diameter that it was a large target. So I really got excited for a flower and then. Not to be, never mind, on to the next. Okay, so here we are. We've got a few more targets. We've been busy. We're going to leave that coil sitting right there, hovering over that target. We're going to show you the first. So first off uh, is the Rue, or the Rue Penny. The Commonwealth Penny, I should say. We've been getting a lot of Rues lately, uh, today. But there he is, a Commonwealth. Oh, hang on, hang on a second, Buster. 19, oh, it's a 6. I was going to say, there he is, a Commonwealth Penny, but I was sort of staring at the date, and I swore I seen 1930, uh, but I was tricked with a 6 there. Damn, 1936, Commonwealth Penny. Got me excited for a second. We've got our next target sitting in front of us. That little bit of a plug popped up. So, has to mark him. We've got a few more too. Uh, we've got another target there. I did mark it. Uh, and then also one under our coil to dig. So let's get busy. Let's see what they are. This one's already opened up a little bit, but I have not pinpointed him at all. The ground is just beautiful to dig too. Let's have a look. Straight on the money, but he's a little bit deeper. We're right on him though. Let's have a look. The, um, just say quickly too, this pinpointer, pretty incredible. Uh, how long, for all my videos, I've been using this pinpointer. Or oh, oh what, 240, 50 videos on YouTube I've got out now. I will say the other day I gave it a bit of a wash and uh, part of the old battery housing had cracked. It had split and not because I'd put too big a battery in it and split the housing uh, just due to the age and, um, well, look, the use that this uh, pinpointer has had. Uh, so as you can see, the buttons have nearly worn their way off and we've worn all the ridges away and everything. It's really had a good go, this pinpointer. Long story short, though, I um, put it in a bath of water the other day and drowned it. <laughs> Another coin. Four, four pennies in a row, that being a rue penny. So I put it in the uh, the container of water and I absolutely drowned uh, this little pinpointer and uh, it failed to turn on. Well, actually it turned on, it wouldn't turn off and it wouldn't pick up on anything. It wouldn't hit on any target. It was, it was just not working properly at all. And I thought, well, it's gave up the ghost. That's okay because it's done a great job. 250 odd videos later, uh, I'm happy to sit it up in retirement and grab for another one. And I would be replacing it with the exact same, a 35 Pro from Mine Lab. I just love them. And as you see, I use it in all my videos. But look, we um, we didn't do anything but take the back, back battery cover off. All we did, oh, there he is, a little one cent coin. All we did was took the uh, battery cover off. We took the battery out and we sat him up on a shelf, uh, up sitting like that, so the water uh, would come out of the internal circuitry. And... Uh, Look, every day I went out into the shed and I sort of, you know, had a bit of a play around with it, seeing if it would turn back on, putting the battery back in it and seeing if it would function properly. And uh, lo and behold, after about day three, uh, it did just that. So it's back uh, running now and it's probably good for another 260 odd videos. Who knows? Uh, but I'll tell you what, uh, look, the Profine 35s uh, by Mine Lab, they are just an exceptional uh, little pinpointer. I absolutely love them. And uh, I look, I know there's been... A few faults out there, you get that with any technology. Uh, however, I've had a great run uh, with little 35 Pros, and I'm, uh, I'm certain, as I said, this one's probably gonna last uh, for another, what, four or five years. Look at the, um, look at the Pro Find. Uh, show us your pinpointers uh, one day, or drop a comment, let me know uh, exactly how worn they are, because I'd love to see, I'd love to see how much use you've put them through, and uh, hear, hear if they're still running. Look at that, we've nearly worn away all the buttons. So, very cool. As I said, drop a comment on our Facebook page uh, or comment uh, on the YouTube video here. I'd love to know and love to hear. There he is. We're a little bit off that target. All right. Let's just dig a bit to the side there. Oh, there he is. Is he? What do we got? A half penny. Ah, oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Coins galore, still coming out, and we're having a lot of fun. So a little half penny, not a silver, but that's okay. Let's keep cracking along. Thank 
give me hole on Phil. Luke's done it again. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Look at no, that no, hole. No, no, <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> oh, and the question is now, do I edit that bit out in uh, later film? <laughs> okay. All right. So Luke's got a... Uh... Well, we're just coming over to Luke and uh, funnily enough... Oh, hang on. We can still see the hole. <laughs> Oh, let's just keep it real. Give us a look at your bloody shilling. 1943. Luke is killing the day. What is with you today? Can we swap machines? Oh, I've got a full house. I've got the eight. Do you? Two florins. Shilling, threepence, sixpence. You've got penny, half penny. Yep. There you go. There you go. And look at that. The lady on the lawnmower has stopped. So we're not going to get run over. Oh, you're killing it, man. Unbelievable. All still here. Oh, just amazing. Amazing. As I said, it's all coming out in this very hot spot. And it's funny because as soon as you walk out, it's like they drew a line and said, right, no one's allowed to cross the line. Because as soon as you sort of cross that imaginary line today and walk out into the guts of the oval, you really just hit on one and two cent pieces and nothing else special. And so all the old stuff, all the silver, all the pennies, they all seem to be over the back here. So very interesting. Let's keep going. See if we can snag a few more before the day is up. Luke wants me to check a signal here quickly, just before I wander off. Oh, you're on to something, mate. Yeah, I don't know. It could be long, though, I think. Yeah, I'd... That's a coin. I'd go after that any day of the week. Yeah, but it comes down here, too. Well, Luke said, too, come feel this. Well, I'm sort of feeling it with the vibration through the handle of the 900 here. You're right, it, is a, it's, it feels like it's got a bit of length to it. It's sort of uh, in my mind, you know, it's sort of painting like a, you know, like a, a long bit of brass or something. But that also could just be falsing out with the way, or the angle of the dangle, the angle of the coin. I reckon that is a coin though. It, regardless if it's not, I'd dig it after it every single day of the week. Hmm. What's it coming up? Can I just have a look? So we've got a 22, oh, listen to the tone. And a 23, 22. You got some good depth too. What have you been doing to your screen, buddy? Look at it. How do you see that screen? Shocking, isn't it? Yeah, it's terrible. Horrible. Let's now let's have a listen. Oh, it sounds good from this angle. That could be another token. Hiding the coal. <laughs> Spirit and wine. You want to dig it, mate? No, 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 you're right, you're right. You take all the tokens, you take all the florins. Uh, I'll just pick up your crumbs, mate. Like that. Let's go after this guy. I'm patiently sitting here waiting to see what Luke has got because all I can hear over there is, hoo hoo hoo, hoo hoo hoo. <laughs> Are you taking me off? Are you making fun of me? No. No, no, no. What do we got now? I was, oh, oh, it's just another. <laughs> oh, so what, Luke? It's just a. So what? I don't care, man. It's just a ram head shilling. See those guys every day in the bloody in my loose change. Go to the milk bar. Go to the milk bar. I get one of them when I buy a pie. <laughs> well, bloody done. Two florins, two ram head shillings, pennies, and tokens, and silver rings, and you've still got to drive home. <laughs> it's gonna be a good drive home though. You're just gonna be you're gonna be smiling. Yeah, you'll be smiling all the way, mate. Uh, Luke comes down most weekends too. You know, most weekends that I've got free, Luke comes down. As I said to him, if you're happy to come down, mate, I'm happy to take you to these sites. So <gasps> I just seen, I don't know whether you guys seen that viewing. It's a bit dark down there. Go away, Luke. You're gonna turn this into a copper coin. I seen silver. Oh, there's nothing there. Hang on, we'll go for another dig. Oh, there's nothing there again. What did I see? There he is. It's not as big as Luke's. <laughs> That's a sixpence. Oh, they really are. 
there we go. We might be working our way towards a full house too. And that is also a very, very cracker date to find. 1945 is very special for me because I love my war history. I've learned about it for years and years. I live my life on the History Channel when I'm at home, when I've got free time. I have a night time and it's, uh, it's dark outside and raining. You can't go detecting. I'm on the History Channel learning about history world history and it does not matter what it's about it can be war history it can be a documentary just about on anything as long as it's put together and interesting and history i'm all for learning about it but look war history i will say is something that i've learned a hell of a lot about over the last well, since i was younger since i was a kid i just love it so and 1945 you know to look at that day and to know what took place on that year 1945 2nd of september uh, the war ended and the uh, the amnesty was signed uh, between japan and america and uh look <laughs> It just brought everything home, you know, you can imagine the celebrations and uh, the joy and everything that took place around the world. And as I said, I was, I was born 87, you know, I wasn't there, I didn't see it, uh, but I've seen enough documentary, enough footage of the celebrations and, uh, you know, the enjoyment and the, the smiles on people's faces that took place on that date, uh, 1945, 2nd of September, uh, when everybody knew that the world was going to go back to normal and they were not at war. So look, just phenomenal. If you know your history, you learn your history, you really have just such a great appreciation for it. So, and I certainly do. Anyway, let's keep going. Shilling, sixpence, the silvers are still coming out. We've still got a little bit more time to dig and we're having a lot of fun. Some probably hear my machine chirping away a little bit there today, or well, this afternoon. And the reason being is I am running max sensitivity, 28 on the Equinox 900, which is just awesome. Uh, the um, the Equinox 800 there that Luke's running, it goes up to max 25, and Luke is also uh, running a max sensitivity. So just trying to hit on those really deep targets, and it's paying off because a lot of these coins like that, another one, they are super, super deep. So there we go, and you can really tell too that, you know, really the older coins, a lot of the, um, the other stuff that we've been finding here uh, before increasing that sensitivity was a lot of the later coins, uh, rue pennies and, and sixpences and what have you. Uh, you know, sort of coming in, dating around the 50s and 60s. Uh, but look, a lot of the stuff that I've uh, hit on this afternoon since bumping that sensitivity up, and you can see it's a little bit erratic, but we are working through the false signals, and we are hitting on the older, deeper coins. Uh, so really, really cool. Uh, let's keep going. Luke just got a super deep one there too. What was it, Luke? That's pinpointed depth. Pinpointed depth. So, well, at least six inches deep, uh, we're hitting on the coins. How awesome is that? Well, we're still working this piece of ground, only a small area too. As I said to Luke, we probably need to move about. Uh, we, uh, we probably look like weirdos standing in the same spot, just doing circles. <laughs> but that's okay, because as he said, why would you want to go anywhere else, mate, when the coins are still coming out? And he's exactly right. So, like this signal here, he's a nice clear signal. And he's not as deep as some of the rest. However, one that we have once again missed. And I really don't know how. And I, look, I understand the wet ground does come into play too, you know. As I said before, we were hunting here in summertime. And here we are now in winter. And the ground is a lot more moister. And uh, it does have an effect on the coins and the detector being able to hit on them and hear them. So that's probably part and parcel of what's going on. Not to mention, uh, we're probably just getting better at what we're doing. Let's have a look. So how was that missed? $2 gold coin. Unbelievable. Some days, I swear, the machines are just done. They're just not running uh, quite or... Look, I don't know. Maybe it's just the way you hold your tongue. Uh, you can be the best detectorist out there in the world and uh, you will still miss stuff, I have no doubt. So $2 coin into the pouch, another gold coin, saving up. Uh, or what I'm going to do now is helping save. I save up for that PS5 because he... Uh, he's not um, not doing too well. He hasn't found that many gold coins and a lot of the sites that we hunt They are not holding the gold coins or they can be very challenging uh, To find them So I'm gonna help him out end of the year. We're gonna show off uh, Show Zave all our money that we've got That we found detecting and it is going to help go towards him buying a brand new PS5 Let's dig this next target out and let's see what we've got so pinpointer on, let's see what we've got. Oh, I thought I nearly, I thought I might have had him out on the plug then. 
Hopefully this is another silver coin. We are nearing the end of the day too, so I do want to try and get as many more out as I can before we leave. There he is. The sneaky little thrippins. And another wheat one at that. So let's have a quick look at the date. As I said, we are going to try and rush through these last few targets and uh, try and beat Luke. Focus, 1943, and we got a 42 before. Uh, look out, we're doing very, very well. We just need that florin. Well, we've got our next coin, and uh, I was about to throw him in the pouch and bag him until I realized it is something different. It's not a two cent coin. Uh, in fact, it is a government of India coin. It's an Indian coin. Look at that. That is cool. That's something really random, isn't it? So, and he did come up at a high signal, I will say. He was ringing up at one of those tones. Very, very high signals that I would always dig. Uh, 55, 56. And uh, it is a 1953. So looks like you got a little horse on the back. So very cool. Indian coin out on the, uh, the oval down here in Victoria. Let's keep going too. Margaret the mower is back in action. She's not mucking around. I don't know if that's her real name either, Margaret. But that's what I'm going to call her. Margaret the mower. And if we're not careful and if we don't get moving... She's going to mow straight over the top of us. Well, something tells me it must be silver day today. And Luke's just come over at the right time too. Want to see what I've got? Sure. It's a 1816 Bullhead George Schilling. Put it on the dirt. Put it on the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> you put it next to that. <laughs> Is that your third? Are you joking me? That's why you come over. Oh, look what I've got. 1917. Oh. Brothers, 16 and a 17. <laughs> oh, you cannot make this stuff up. You don't read about this stuff, uh, but you do see it on YouTube, on the Digger Detecting channel anyway. <laughs> oh man, that is so cool. Yours is so clean. Can I take yours? <laughs> Can I take yours? Oh, it's gone back in the hole. You clean mine. I'll take that one. Thanks. You want 17 anyway. I want. Yours is better condition and it's cleaner. Let me, let me see if I can get him out of the hole. <laughs> you get it? Uh, nearly. It's just fallen back in. I'm, I'm gonna get there in a second, fella. I've nearly got it. Uh, wait, wait, don't throw. I'm completely. You've lost that. Uh, there's your coin back, mate. <laughs> there's, your, there's your coin back. Oh, it's nice and clean. It was dropped. Uh, anybody would swear we've been drinking today. Being silly. 1917, a cracker one shilling. Oh, that is awesome. As I said, you really can't not make that stuff up. Did you just find that and walk over then? Yeah, yeah unreal. And I literally just, um, like, I got two targets here, and I thought, oh, one's high, I best put the camera on. Uh, and I didn't, and I dug it, and out popped the shilling, and I thought, damn, I missed it. So I put the uh, camera on quickly, you walk over, and you got another one. I said, you can't read about this stuff. Anyway, let's keep going, and let's dig out that next signal. Who knows, maybe we might have another shilling. Number five. <gasps> oh dear, we're just laughing because Luke just yells out, hey uh, Luke, uh, the person on the lawnmower, uh, it's not actually a chick, it's a dude. <laughs> and uh, I'm laughing even more because uh, what I didn't say to Luke there before, let me just sit that down there, is uh, I called this chick Margaret the mower before, and now we've learned that it's a dude. And what do we name him? Uh, Marvin. Uh, Mar Mar Marvin the mower. Oh dear, let's keep going before we get run over by Marvin, not Margaret. Rightio, let's finish this day up and uh, let's finish it on a high. We've had a fantastic uh, run this morning and this afternoon with Luke coming down and hitting up two old school sites. So uh, just a great day and some great finds. And uh, as I said, we best uh, hurry this up before Marvin, and not Margaret, Marvin the mower uh, runs over us and chops us to bits. <laughs> I thought, uh, thought Luke was throwing sticks at them uh, before too. Uh, as, um, as Marvin uh, drove past on the mower, I had a stick flick up and hit me in the back of the uh, leg. And I honestly thought Luke had thrown a stick at me. Uh, but then I sort of considered, well, it come from the mower. So Marvin's already been aggressive. Let's try and dig this target out, our last target. And I uh, said, well, pack up and get out of here. Funnily enough too, no doubt... Um, if he stops the mower, we'll get talking. His name won't be Marvin, no doubt. <laughs> Although, uncannily enough, it could be. Uh, and yeah, look, funnily enough, if we get talking, there'll probably be another person that will give us permission uh, to another site in the future. 
It's always how it works. Let's have a look. We dug a little bit sideways for this target. I'm hoping it is a sixpence to finish this off for the day. But then we've had a phenomenal run, so we really don't need it. We can always leave it for another day and get back here again. So, but I'm confident. I'm hopeful. Oh, it's not. It's a wee little penny. There he is, little half. Once again, we are getting out those coins at some great depth due to the uh, the max sensitivity that we're running. So, little half penny. I wonder if he's a 23. The most common or the most uh, hardest date to find. 1926, like what we got there before. So, anyway, into the pouch. Not a silver, a penny, but that's okay because we've had a phenomenal run uh, this morning and uh, as you've seen this afternoon on the silver coins. So we're gonna get home now, lay it all out on the back step with the rest that we found this morning and give you a look. Well, there it is guys, the haul for today. I remember we hit uh, two different sites. We went to a school site there this morning and at the start of this video, we showed off all of our finds. And then after lunch, after our coffees, we jumped to school site number two, which is what is uh, what is that secondary pile. So we'll just give you a quick run over for anybody that has not seen it. School site number one there is the rubbish to the left and all our finds. And as you've seen, we had some really nice pieces. If you'd like to see them in further detail, you can always skip back to the start of the video and check out what we found there this morning. Uh, look, we won't bore you too much with it though. For the others that have seen it, we will show off uh, what we found there hunting at the secondary school site uh, for this afternoon. So not too much rubbish as you can see a uh, two, four, what six, eight bits of rubbish and to be honest I would not include uh, the old shaver head or uh, the old curtain hook uh, being bits of rubbish. So just six bits of rubbish there and as you can see a ton of wonderful coins. Uh, we've got what eight uh, old full pennies four half pennies on this side we're a little two dollar coin the old indian one rupee i think he is and also a heap of two and ones down below a little tiny brooch which i just screwed it out of the way of my finger and uh, lastly what you did not see on film coming out is the old clock ring and i actually yelled that one out to luke i said oh, i've got a um <laughs> i found a clock ring mate and uh i don't know what he actually heard because he said you you've got a what <laughs> So the old clock ring, pretty cool. I wonder if it still tells the time. And also the, all the, uh, the silver coins. And as you can see, for a couple of hours this afternoon, we've killed it. A 1946, a 1917 shilling, a three sixpences there, 1945, 50 and 51, and two little threepences there, a 42 and a 43, a wheat design stalk. So look, we, uh, we nearly got the full house. We were just missing the florin. But if we jump over to Luke's pile here, we might be able to steer one take over there and then we've done it we've got the full house but i don't know whether he let me so anyway for luke's pile there we've just run through what we did with the 900 uh, for luke's pile hey buddy you got a penny half penny hiding up the back here so there you go i just found another coin for you awesome <laughs> So Luke's got a bit of rubbish there from this morning, a couple of bits of lead and a few of the old brass pieces. I remember when we go out hunting, we're ideally looking to hit on the coins and with the coins comes the rubbish and generally it is the uh, the high tone rubbish that we're digging, uh, such as the brass and copper and, and lead items coming out of the ground, like the door handles here. Very cool. So uh, those, are, those are, I'm just um, uh, mucking up Luke's pile here. Those are Luke's bits of rubbish there for this morning. Those are Luke's bits of rubbish for this afternoon. A few pull tabs on the side not too much really uh, but look at what he has found for the whole day in general i think uh this is your uh pile from this morning luke uh that's just like ones and twos and moderns oh that's just ones and twos and moderns so look all in all as I said luke's done it all he's put it all together but all in all you can see just how many coins luke has here and not only that look at all the bloody silver silver hoarder you must be a pirate uh, plus, he's got the old silver ring. Uh, he's got the uh, the hide and the carl token. Once again, we did share some of these at the start of this video. Uh, but all these silver coins have just come out this afternoon, and he's done phenomenal. 47 florin, 56 florin. Uh, what, four shillings in a day, a 1911, a 1953, a 43, and a 1916. A two sixpences and one little threepence. And uh, I really, really like that threepence there. Uh, the sixpence there with the 1919 uh, date on him. I just think it is a spectacular year once again, like the 1945 that we found there before. So Luke has smashed it with the 800. Uh, what has he got? Two, four, a six, eight, ten, ten pennies. Oh, and a random coin which Luke will post. I forgot about this guy. 
Uh, Luke will throw up on his Instagram account uh, called I Dig That 73. Be sure to give it a look and a follow if you have not. And uh, as I said, Luke will throw this up on his Instagram account and try and ID it because he's a mystery. He looks like a Commonwealth one penny. Oh, I don't know that it is. Look, it's the same diameter. He's got the ring around the outside. I'll get my uh, fat thumb out of the way. But can you sort of see what's going on there? A bit shaky. Uh, a bit of different riding or something going on there. It's something weird. It's not a half penny. I'm certain of it. So, as I said, follow Luke on Instagram. I dig that 73. Check out. Give a look. Follow. And uh, you'll be able to see that coin and uh, what Luke can make of it in future. So, as I said, 800 fines from Luke and 900 fines from me. It's been a killer a day. I think it's coffee and home time now. Wait a minute. What am I talking about? I'm at home. You've got to go home. Uh, so anyway, a killer of a day, and uh, we'll be back out again next time hunting. I really hope you enjoyed, guys. And if you did, please be sure to hit that like comment, uh, like button, and throw us a comment, drop us a comment, because it really helps boost that channel and grow my uh, grow digger detecting for future. So every little bit counts, uh, likes and comments included. So anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed. We'll be back hunting again next time, and I look forward to seeing you there. Cheers. Cheers.